Now, one of the questions that people ask me about is how to clean your palate. As daft as it sounds, do you clean it? Do you leave it? Do you clean it with cold water, hot water? What method do you use to get your palate nice and clean? Now, it depends on the kind of palate you use. Depends if it's ceramic, i.e. this one here. There you go. Or plastic. Notice that plastic can stain, so I tend to just use ceramic palettes. Now, do you wash them out or just leave them as they are? Now, it depends on the painting you're thinking about doing next. Because sometimes you can just reactivate the paint just by having a drop of water, so you can just go back in something like this, put a couple of drops of water in, anything like that, whatever you want to do, and then give it a light mix, and then it can reactivate that paint and you can use it again. Now, this particular palette, I've not used a couple of weeks, so now I can use it again. You're going to do this so many times, after a while it goes a little bit bitty uh, when you do that, but it's well worth remembering that. So don't always throw the paint away, don't always wash it away when you finish the painting because it may come in handy for the next painting that you're going to do. Now some people might think that's been a little bit tight on the paint but I don't think so, I just think it's a good way of saving the paint that you're working with and then making use of what you've got left. Now when you wash these out, if you do wash them out, I tend to use a fairly stiff kind of acrylic mixing brush believe it or not, like a size 18 acrylic brush and that kind of really kind of works it up and gets it out of the palette for me. And I do that under cold water. I don't use hot water or anything like that, just under cold water, and that's more than sufficient. Other than that, always remember one thing you should always do on a regular basis is changing your water. Now I've got a double water pot, which I don't know if we can just bring it into shot there, so bear with me a minute. So this one here, look, you can see I've got dirty on one side and clean on the other. So it's a double water pot, but I do change out on a regular basis, so probably every hour or so I go and uh, kind of get some fresh water in there. So other than that, that's just some basics on cleaning your palettes. If you've got any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to hear from you. And if you've got anything else that you want me to show you, any other tips and tricks, please let me know. So until next time around, bye bye for now. And get them brushes wet. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye-bye for now.